Hello and welcome to Tuesday! Um, so what happened uh, this morning? Well, I had a test in physics that I almost forgot about. I say almost uh, because I remembered that morning. So didn't 100% forget. Uh, I was a little bit late, but that was fine. Uh, I, I made... At best, probably a B plus. At worst, a B minus. Uh, I definitely messed up on a couple of calculations, but yeah. Um, what's going on uh, right now? I am working on the last bit of PC help desk homework. Uh, it's fairly easy, um, so I think it is. Um, I need to learn about the crypto locker virus, which sounds like something out of a bad sci-fi film. It's like, Dr. Vinoshnik has created the crypto locker virus. It's incredibly deadly. It's like, what? Uh, but yeah, so I need to write a brief document targeted to end users to answer these questions. What are the symptoms of an infected PC? What advice would you give users about whether to pay the ransom demanded? Uh, how can a support specialist remove the crypto uh, virus uh, from a user's PC? What is the preferred method? Uh, blah, method, not method, <laughs> uh, to avoid getting infected by the virus. Uh, so I'm working on that right now. I'm doing. I'm writing it in letter format. Um, and should be fairly easy. Oops. No. I say as I struggle with trying to set up everything for formatting. There we go. That's the right one. Um, I'm also uploading episode 9 of 007 Nightfire, which I have dubbed my murderous child. Um, basically, what goes on in that episode is um, I use the Phoenix Ronin like a lot. <laughs> And so it's like in that sniper area, this is a major pain. So uh, what I do is I snipe the the guy on one of the roofs, and I snipe out the two on some scaffolding, and then I get out the Phoenix Ronin, and I just run uh, to the door, to the entrance of this room where there's like three other dudes, and I just drop the Phoenix Ronin, let it, let it do its thing, and then pick it up like ten seconds later because it's like super powerful it's <laughs> it's amazing uh, it has definitely helped me out uh, a lot with you know just trying to get rid of enemies there is there is one problem I have with it is like you know you can pick it up and when you place it again it's at full power that's great uh, but if it runs out of power you can't pick it back up which is a little annoying but, because it's like you can grab it when it's at like 1% and put it back down and it'd be at 100%, but the second it hits 0%, you can't use it anymore. Um, so that's that's quite a pain, especially with like um, like another area where um, you've got, you, you, uh, you have to take a photo of like this prototype laser thing and then you get to use it because the game... It's like, you know, it'd be fun if we let you use it. And it it's the best um, f it's the best turret you could ever control in the game. Because it's like a phaser pink from the Starship Enterprise, from Star Trek. It's just like, it's one solid beam. And it goes... <laughs> Obviously, it's a better sound effect than what I could produce. Um, but yeah, it, it's like that. And it's just great because, like, even though it heats up real quick, you know, you can still, it just one hits enemies, so you can just do a quick sweep and take them all out and then let your uh, gun cool down and then do it again. And it's amazing. <laughs> I've been having so much fun with it. Um, I, I think, um, I think in, like, the later levels you actually get like a handheld version of it, and it's amazing, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, so yeah, what's going on right now? Uh, like I said, I'm doing you know stuff. Um, 
doing one quick assignment for PC Help Desk, which is in a couple of hours. And then I'm going to come home and uh, chill for a little bit and then um, go to work. Oh, and I thought I was working Monday through Wednesday of this week, but I decided to check the calendar uh, that's in the break room, and I'm actually only scheduled uh, to work uh, Monday and Tuesday, so that's yesterday and today. I'm really excited because that means the rest of my week I can like put an effort to like all this stuff, and it's going to be awesome. Um, Will I record later today? Probably not. Um, when uh, yesterday I thought my shift ended at 10, uh, 15, it turns out like the score, the, the store just closes at 10, and then I gotta wait for um, the um, the assistant manager um, to finish up. Uh, so yeah. Uh, what do I think of this just so far? Well, I mean, it's still like, uh, uh, it's very, very stressful. Yeah. Uh, I am talking, uh, I was talking to my dad today during lunch, and it's like, I really want to work with him, but, like, new management came in between the time that my sister worked for him and my time at the college, and they were like, you can't hire family. Uh, that's how they sound in my head. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're working out a way. Because there's, you know, with with almost every rule at the college, there's a loophole. I hope. <laughs> what does this mean? It means I'm looking for loopholes. Mmm, gotta get me some loopholes. I think that's gonna be the title. Gotta get me some loopholes. Yeah. That is... Brilliant and stupid at the same time. Uh, um, also, I should probably check my Wii U to see if um, Darksiders 2 um, finished installing. I think I still have save data on here, um, so what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to replay on a new uh, file and see if the, um, the game, like the, the bricking... Well, it's not really breaking, but it's like a hard freeze that happens uh, at a certain point in Darksiders 2. I think it can be avoided, um, but I just need to uh, fill around and see what's going on with that. Uh, if I can, if I can find a way around it, I'm gonna post on like so many forums to be like, guys, this is the solution. Uh, so yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, so there's that. Homework, uh, getting um, Let's Plays all done. I think if um, if I were to cut, I, I've I've been thinking about like how much time I put into like um, the channels and stuff, and I feel like um, the twelfth kind could you know it could go with you know having two less videos a week, um, so cutting that Saturday Sunday release. But like having releases Monday through Friday, because like you still get like three episodes of 007 and two episodes of Lego Star Wars, uh, but it is in a more favorable, um, you know, way. Like on my end, it's more favorable. Like I'm not like I'm doing so much, uh, but yeah. That's actually going to be it for now. Just going to finish stuff up and head to class at like 2 or something. And then chill for a little bit and then go to work. Yay. I will see you guys uh, tomorrow. Oh! Here's a discussion prompt. Are you currently in a job? Do you like it? Would you give it up to work with family members? Who knows? I'll see you tomorrow. Plot twist, you get a little bonus thing. Um, turns out I'm not working um, tonight. The schedule got shifted around. I tried calling, but nobody answered. So, <laughs> I would make a joke, but it's a religious joke, and I'm trying to keep these things religious joke free. Yeah.
<laughs> Man, it's tough having your own rules and being a rule follower at the same time. Yeah. So what am I going to do now? I'm going to record games and talk. Because I need to do that. Alright, now I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.